Does it look like we're live, SJ? Does it, does it? I think so. What does that there YouTube say? It says we're live. Oh, now it's saying we're <laughs> yeah, live. Yeah, it's saying okay, we're live. Okay, good stuff. We are. Good morning, everybody. Um, morning. It's Stitchy Witchy Wednesday, and yet she's nowhere to be seen. Our poor Jane is not very well. Um, but she will be back very soon. Uh, however, I pulled the office child out, <laughs> and I told her, A, don't come in in your pyjamas. <laughs> And B, put your face on. Oh, I do look a little <laughs> bit like I'm still in my pyjamas, oh, don't I, from comfy. behind this. I am. have got a sticker stuck to your leg. Oh, fabulous. Where have I pulled that <laughs> off from? <laughs> oh. I am all about comfort. You are, yeah. and that's fine. Um, but from down here, we can be comfy in our trainers and leggings. And True. <clears throat> have to try and be a, a little bit presentable up here. Good morning and welcome to Natasha Makes. My name's Gemma Pinfield-Thomas. This here is SJ. Hi. You might have seen SJ before. Yeah, I occasionally make an appearance. Yeah. But normally Christmas. Normally and Christmas and, and the odd time Natasha's <laughs> on holiday. And I shenanigate you in. Yeah, I get dragged on. But otherwise, I like to just take a nice little seat in the office next door <laughs> and I just come scurrying on every now and then when I'm needed. This is true. <laughs> However, SJ is the queen of the deals when it comes to Natasha Makes. So if you don't subscribe to your Friday newsletter, this here is the lady who writes it every week, does your half me to heaven newsletters, in fact, all your newsletters. Yes. Um, so it seemed quite appropriate to me that I get her mic'd up and up here with me for our deals yes. du jour. Okay, we've got quite a lot going on today, not going to lie. Um, <clears throat> we thought, given as poor Jane is not feeling brilliant, and needs a little rest, needs a little rest. She does. Before we then bombard her with the craziness that's going to be December. I know, and there's lots that we have yeah. planned for December. Correct. We have lots that we need to prepare for. We do. So while we give her a rest, we thought we'll bring you some fabulous, fabulous deals. Now, those have been going live officially on their own two minutes ago on our website, natashamakes.com. And if you click the Watch Live page or the Workshop Wednesday page and scroll down, you're going to see an enormous number of samples. SJ, can we just go into Facebook and make sure everyone can see and hear us? And we've actually got viewers and aren't just talking to us. We ourselves. have. We've got. We've got Jimmy saying good morning, Gemma. So I believe oh, that we, we can morning, Jimmy. be Jimmy heard. Gets in quickest, you know. Always. He does. So the screen that I have doesn't come up with it, as people are joining. Mm -hmm. There's a delay um, as well, so that's fine. But I do believe we do have people with us. Good. Good. Yesterday we did do a start to our sample sale, so we just. Well, tested the water, gave you, I think it was about 20 items, and they disappeared like this, really quick. They did. Um, and today, we thought, therefore, we'll treat you to some more. I'll explain a little bit more about those in a moment. Um, I do, however, have the Half Meter Heavens for this week to show you too. Our Half Meter Heavens are a half meter of designer fabric with a coordinating plane. They go live at midnight tonight. Um, and they came about during the pandemic when it was really difficult to be able to know which plain fabric would match your normal fabric. So Natasha took it upon herself. Well, we were also getting a lot of messages, weren't we, yeah. um, through the customer service email or on social saying, I've got this designer fabric at home. Mm -hmm. I want to make something with it. I just want a coordinating plane. Yeah. But sitting at home looking at a computer screen, yeah. I can't tell quite which ones should or will go best. Exactly, and that's the thing. People couldn't get to their quilt shops, and so Natasha did this so that you could see the fabrics together, and actually that's relevant all the time with us because we are online. Yes. So we have got beautiful Half Meter Heavens to show. I don't know whether anyone else has commented. Yes, we've morning. got Jane Vivash saying, good morning, ladies. Hi. Sharon Pierce, Pierce, Piercy and Becky is Lovely. also with us as well. Hello, good morning. There will be others. It doesn't always show us everybody's comments, so that's a little bit annoying. Don't feel like we're ignoring you. Um, I'll try and keep my eye on them as they're coming through. Good point. Well made, SJ. You can do that for me. I can. The whole show, because I'm not going to look at my screen, which is a little bit strange for me. Oh, Vicky Payne's just replied, wow, this looks very exciting. It is very exciting. Is. What isn't exciting is the fact Jane's not here, but she does need to rest, and she will get very well very soon, I'm sure, mm -hmm. and be back creating wonderful witchery for you. In the meantime, we've been up to wall salts. So we've got fabulous samples to show you, but we'll show you the half meter heavens first. Get those out the way. Get you thinking about what you want to log in at midnight to buy, because some of you do. There's quite a few that yes, do. Yes, there is. We wake up on a Thursday morning and there are... Um, there are. 
there are plenty of orders that come through. Look, sneaky, sneaky peek. Look, sneaky, sneaky peek. Oh my <laughs> gosh. Okay, try and concentrate here, guys. Try and concentrate here. I should have zoomed the camera in. That would have been the thing. <laughs> no one would be able to see this. No. <laughs> okay, so this is a beautiful Lewis and Irene Reflections fabric. Now, we had this before, um, and when this collection came in, it sold out in like milliseconds. So when we saw it, when our rep came around recently, Natasha and I, in the back of the van, <laughs> we both went rummaging, SJ. And we said, we have to have this because it was crazy popular. We've now half me to heavened it with magenta. And magenta just looks absolutely stunning with this colour here. It just And it, it's a really nice balance because there's a lot of blue and green through this. So to pick up the magenta tone works beautifully. We have another fabric from that collection as well. This one here, rather beautiful. And I'm putting it together because you'll see gone with Copen but don't those four work together beautifully so you get this oh, that's a quilt isn't it SJ at the end of the day it is it is so we have I think it's about five each of those oh so Karen has said first. morning girls I suspect shenanigans may be happening today that is they very correct are. SJ's with us absolutely Hi, Karen. so we are yeah sample sailing today Okay, the next half meter heaven that will go live at midnight tonight is this beautiful autumn reloved field mice. I think this is, where are we? Barley mice on country green. Look at this. It's so cute. I love these. These little mice are so sweet and they're all doing something different. They're just gorgeous. Let me see actually if we go close up. If I can show you the little mices, she says. Do, 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 do. Come on, switcher. You're getting to see that thing I moan about now, SJ. I know, I'm seeing it firsthand. You are seeing it firsthand. There you go. Look at them. Aren't they adorable? I love the tone of green on this as well. It's really beautiful. It is a really nice colour, isn't it? Gorgeous. They are so sweet. So they are on light green. But what we've actually, country green, sorry, what we've actually put with that is our light lilac. And we try a few things, really, because there's this kind of, mauve tone to the sort of grey neutral that those mice are the light lilac is absolutely perfect surprised everybody and it just goes beautifully same collection same cute mice we also have autumn fields we loved harvest nests grey and this is so sweet have you seen this one up close sj i have look with the little tiny mice yes. and you've got one there hiding They've got berries handing little berries in there's a sleeping one there's a mummy mouse or daddy mouse with two little babies. Little baby ones there. It's so gorgeous. And that one's gone with light pink. Just gorge. But that also works with Yeah. It, it the, really does. The exactly. lavender as well, doesn't it? Yes, it does with that light lilac. Looks lovely, doesn't it? The magenta as well looks good with this, I happen to know. In fact, just in case anyone particularly loves this fabric and wants to get the half meter heaven and then another plane to go with because all of our paint planes are available by the half meter but as you see the magenta is really good with that one also so if you did want another plane to go with it's not a bad choice at all oh and atwood says oh hope jane gets better soon so do yes, we so do we and then she's put, can Tasha trust you too? <laughs> no. Vicky Payne has replied, <laughs> I doubt it. No and no and thrice more, no. <laughs> you lot are going to love us though. Okay, bit of cafe, because who doesn't love a bit of cafe? This is Roman glass in pink. Look at that. Oh, just stunning. The vibrancy of colours, fabulous. And it's, you know, dominantly pink, but we've put sky with it, which is so, that's what, through the lot, isn't it really? Yeah. You find that everywhere. Just balances it out beautifully, looks great. What's not to love? Not a lot you can say about CAFE really, just absolutely stunning. You can't go wrong with a bit of CAFE, I say, yes, Jay. Okay, now this one we've only got two of. This is our Dorothy in natural, and crikey, this was popular. Look at that. Dorothy in natural is one of those fabrics that just goes with lots of different colours. There's loads we could have put in here. Really is, you know, you've got black you've got various different shades of greens and taupes and pinks and oranges and beautiful yellow colors really difficult to choose just one color to go with but what's gone with it according to that their boss is our coral looks beautiful 
bitch. Gorgeous, versatile print. It's been used by Natasha a lot. One of her favourites. And why not? Wonderful Philip Jacobs designed that one. We've only got two with that colourway. And again, we've got the same fabric. Okay, but we've put it with cards and all. Because, you know, why choose one to go with? Can't restrict yourself. The brilliant thing with the cardinal is there's an outline to the flowers, really fine outline that to you don't details. see that until you put the you cardinal don't. with it. No, and it's it's the cardinal there really that goes so perfectly with that edging. Clever stuff. I don't know if Tasha's watching. Have we seen? Has she mentioned anything this morning? She hasn't. I really hope yet. not because um, she's going to see how much we're selling the samples. I know, no, but Tasha also <laughs> isn't feeling very well, is, no, is she? So I'm sure cold. she would have much preferred to have done this show over I leaving know. it to us two. <laughs> um, but unfortunately, she's not well either. She's not. She's got a horrible cold. Mm. Courtesy of the children. This is Paisley Jungle in Moss. And again, such a huge array of colours. I really love the blue in this. And, uh, you know, I like greens and I love paisley. So what's not to love? Uh, but we've put it with scarlet. So that's another good one. It's Gorgeous. Lovely. It's very similar to a lot of the prints I've been seeing all week. Oh, I'll bet. Mm. SJ's been in that there India. I have. Haven't you? And you were ill while you were in that there India. I oh. tell you, I feel like the unscathed one of the office. Last one standing. <laughs> Izzy Wiz was in the hospital last she week, was. I tell you. You and Inga are the only two. Inga. But Inga's not long been in hospital as well. Of so course. I am literally last yeah. one standing. Last one standing. <laughs> this is our Regal fans in pastel. Again, K Facet Collective. Um, gorgeous. And Natasha's chosen lime to go with that. What's not to love? In fact, there's... Fabulous lime through the salvage. I was talking to John about salvages yesterday because we are a fan of a salvage. And um, I mean, the Ruby Star salvages, if anyone is a fan of a salvage, they can't be beaten, I'm afraid. Um, but he was saying that he loves seeing there's quilts you can make that are a bookcase and they use oh. the salvage as the spine of the book to be the name. Oh, that's of the quite books. clever. That's really that's clever. Very clever. Now, this might have to come home with me. This is House Leaks in Blue. I just can't, there's no words for this. It's just got all the colours. Now, this was designed by Philip Jacobs for the K Facet Collective. He is an absolute genius of a man. I just bow down to Philip. His designs are off the scale beautiful. Look at that. Oh, gorgeous. And that has gone with Hawaiian. Oh, nice. I know, it just, it, it looks great. It just sits perfectly. All the detail that's in here just sits with the Hawaiian and all the detail through the flowers. It's very clever, that choice. Nice. So, that's the Half Meet Heavens. Ooh. They go live at midnight, she says. Karen has asked if I had a successful trip. I did. I did have a very... <laughs> it, did. it started off not so well. But... You move um, that away while you chat. It ended very successful. It's good, so, isn't it? Hey. Very good. Oh, Claire is saying we're breaking up on sound. Really? Yeah. Is anyone else having sound issues? Yeah, if anyone can let us if know. If it's just Claire, perhaps rewind by sort of 15, 20 seconds. Sometimes some buffering can occur. Yeah. Um, and that's out of our control and quite often. Karen said si sounds fine on my end. Good. If you can just keep us updated, I will try and keep yes. my eye on it. Yes, it's yes, yes. Usually I'm the one that's messaging through to say, guys, there's no sound. <laughs> <laughs> um, and because I'm in here today, I can't keep my ears on it, so I need you guys to let yeah. us know if it does. I'm hoping Inga and Izzy have got us on in the warehouse. I'm sure they have. Listening. I'm sure but they we have. We'll be reliant on you to tell us if there is an issue, so thank you. Um, but yes, today's goodies. I don't really know where to start with no, this. I don't know. It's like I'll everywhere. I'll be completely honest, I am slightly overwhelmed with how many wonderful things we have. Do you have the website up on your laptop? I or do. do I need to pull another do. laptop up? No, no, no. I've got it. Oh, where to start? So, the sample sale. Natasha, well, really, you've all been badgering us for a while. Lo, I'm looking specifically at you if you appear at some point, when every week Jane makes a quilt and she says, that's lovely, pack it up and send it to my house, thank you very much, um, because she wants the ready-made quilt. And some of our quilts and some of our bags and some of our makes infinity scarves, things like that. We use them and we, you know, regularly they come out on display or they go to create and craft on display. And some, to be fair, just go home with us. <laughs> they end yeah. up decorating our house. 
there are many I've bags. I've got one that sits on my desk. Yes. I've got a, a lap quilt that sits on my desk yeah. because we had a few months where the heating didn't want to work in the yeah. warehouse. On and off. On yeah. and off. And just it it just decided when it wanted to work. Yeah. So it would usually get to maybe about lunchtime if I was lucky and the lap quilt would come out and come onto my lap. So yeah. I'm not, I'd, I don't know if I can part with oh. that one. She sat there the one week going, oh, I'm just chilly and I don't know what to do. I said, well, we were a building full of quilts. I've just put one on your lap. She was like, really? And then you sat there with the quilt and went, oh, oh, this is warm. I've never, yes, yes, it's I've warm, never, SJ, I've never used a point. quilt before. I've never, you know, I've what had blankets. I didn't understand the benefit I of a quilt. I didn't understand the benefit of a quilt. <laughs> it's really bad, isn't it? Oh, but yeah, I, can, yeah. I can assure you, if you also have never felt the benefit of a quilt, I don't needed. know why they're watching Natasha makes, but there might be. Well, we might people. not have any quilters. No, it might so be. So we bag might makers. have people who are bag makers, dressmakers. Something here for everybody. Yes. So maybe you're a quilter and you don't make bags. We have bags and bowls and all sorts of things. Maybe you're a bag maker and you don't make quilts. We have quilts. Or maybe you just see something beautiful that you missed out on and we've got the sample here and you have spendthrift's remorse and you've got the chance to buy the sample. That is the thing. Now, the important thing for me to tell you about the samples is both Jane and Natasha have put this off for a very long time, saying, no, no one wants our samples. They're made quickly for either before a show to have them ready so you can see a ready-made example, or they're made during a show, which, again, there's a time constraint on. There's things that perhaps need a turning through gap stitching up. There might be a quilt top that hasn't been quilted yet. There might be some, a quilt that hasn't been bound yet. There might be something that needs a handle stitching on. There might be something that's got a little mark on it because it's been on display and it's just had a bit of, you know, a dusty mark on it somewhere and it perhaps needs a little clean. These items, we don't profess that they are perfect, but they are made with love. And on that understanding, they're being brought to you at a very ridiculous price. A lot of them are pretty much the cost of the materials, and that's that's where we're at. Natasha has not factored in, against my best advice. Um, <laughs> I think everyone's best advice. Thread, <laughs> labour, any of the other Loading costs that come time. In. Loading time, <laughs> staffing costs, all of that. So she's factored none of that in. Um, what you're seeing here is, is pretty much the cost of the materials, re, you know, retail price of the materials. So, um, yes, they are non-refundable, non-returnable, but we bring you the samples. Um, I'm going to start with the elephant in the room, SJ. <laughs> this is very <laughs> beautiful quilt behind us. So pretty. Um, this was made by Jane. And the thing I need to mention about the quilts as well, um, I've tried where I can to put on the listing title what they're backed with. This one is backed in a Morris. Some you will find that Jane has written on the back or has made a label for the back that says made by Jane Alcock for Natasha Makes and the date. Um, so, you know, some of us might be looking to get one of these and pass it off as our own work. I can't guarantee that Jane hasn't already written on the back, um, which some of you might absolutely love to know that she's written on the back. It's like an autograph, isn't I it? I know it is, yeah. Um, it's like the little signature that you get at the bottom of yes, painting. exactly. Um, but you can see the, the fabric on the back of here is absolutely lovely. She's got a two, two different types of... Oh, there's a bit of fluff. Oh. That's a bit of fluff. What do you want fluff? It'll come off. Um, but yeah, you've got two different types of William Morris. I think this was listed back in the day as backside fabric. It SJ. was. <laughs> when Natasha Makes first started, it was a very small team of Natasha, myself and Josh. Yeah. And we were sent a whole load of fabrics from a supplier in a different country. Yeah. And it was all written in their language. It was. So, me and Josh had the fabulous, well, it was actually really Josh yeah, who Google had Translate is your the friend. fabulous or job not. of loading it all onto the website and he thought, I'm just going to use Google Translate and that will tell me exactly what all of this product is. And unfortunately, backing fabric from the language that he was translating it, yeah. Uh, translated as backside. So those who were around in the very early days of Natasha Makes, which is come January, like three years ago. Yes, yeah. Um, will remember the backside, backside fabric, fabric being listed. And nobody, <laughs> well, between me and Natasha, we hadn't noticed until we'd gone live mm. with the website. We'd done our first show, and then we started seeing the orders come through on the order sheets, and people were a bit like, well, I think you got a little bit confused <laughs> with backing and backside. Um, oh, we love Josh. We're not laughing so at then, really, Josh. So then we had to 
quickly change it all, but I remember the night before we officially launched Natasha Makes, I think all of us probably put in about a 14 hour shift, if not more. We probably went home to just sleep for a few hours and then we were back again the next morning to do the first ever live show. So it was all a little bit manic and I think we, we did laugh it off. Yes. Because yes. there's some lovely backside fabric pieced on here. Yeah. Different William Morris. Um, but the, this is the Moda Cranberries and Cream collection. It's an absolutely beautiful quilt. When Jane pulled this one together, we all went, crikey, because it, it's a big it's boy. It's massive, you know. yeah. Um, I have, throughout the collection, wherever possible, listed the instructions next to the make. If the instructions are available, I've tried to put those in. So you'll see the sample itself is listed in. It says sample sale and what the quilt is, or whether it's just a quilt top. But underneath, I will, wherever possible, have put the instructions. If you look at this and think, I need to make that quilt, those instructions are available for you. And in this case, they are available in digital format as well as printed. So, yes, that is our very beautiful first one. Yes. And either side of it, we have some rather wonderful backside fabrics. <laughs> our 108 backing fabrics are at the, the way top here. of today's collection. Yeah, yeah, they, we are in the way a bit. They're, up, they're on the collection. Beryl's Young in Izzy's the way too. beautifully decorated everything for us. Um, the backing fabrics today, we've got a couple that are in clearance, but the others are at 10.99 a half metre. And you'll know they normally go out in the region of 14.99 a half metre. They do. That's our big Black Friday offer for you today. We thought that was relevant because some of these are just quilt tops. And if you're buying those, you're going to need backing, wadding, and, and you've got a quilt. Yes. No piecing to do. No. Amazing. No cutting as well. No. I know. No cutting, no piecing, no nothing. Can't complain, can we? No. No. Right, I'm going to show you some beautiful things. I think that's the thing, isn't it? So, first up, I have here, this is a bed tidy. I'm going to get this out of the way because everyone's going to be looking going, what's that plastic? What is it? Um, the bed tidy is a clever, clever piece of kit. So, when I had my two growing up, we were quite, I don't want to say poor because that's not fair, but we did have to live in a very tiny house. When we first got together, there were four of us in the same bedroom. Then we moved into this little tiny two up, two down, and it felt like a palace. <laughs> but that second bedroom was so small, we had to have special bunk beds made that were cot bed width and full bed length for our, our two girls to go in so that we got room for a chest of drawers. It was a really tiny box room. And as such, storage was really at a premium. Yeah. So bed tidies for me were the thing. You have a non-slip section here of plastic that you lift the mattress and poke that underneath. And then the weight of the mattress will hold that in place. And then the bed tidy hangs down the side and you've got these fantastic pockets that will hold cuddly toys, a book, a water bottle, because that was another thing. My daughter would get thirsty in the night, yeah. so she needed a drink to hand, but there was no bedside table because, you know, no room. Um, so again, her water bottle could go in, favourite cuddlies, books, anything. You'd find all sorts of treasures in these, because they'd find like, <laughs> yeah, an acorn imagine. and a bit of something else, and they'd go and sneak it in. Um, Maybe some midnight snacks too. Yes. Well, mine had fabric fronts. Natasha's done this with the sewable plastic and then edged it. It's beautifully made. Really lovely. She's she done that so she can see what's been you stashed can see away. What's been stashed, exactly. Um, and this fabric here is not one we've had here. This is one that Natasha's done as a sample yeah. on um, Crate and Craft. Mm -hmm. And this is Odile by Earl. Really gorgeous fabric, actually. I'm going to go pretty. close up just to show the fabric. Because look at the shoes. I think we've actually already sold out of this one. Oh, really? Yep. I don't blame you. <laughs> well done, you, whoever got that one. <laughs> Marvellous. <laughs> right, I have a box down here that these are all going in. So let's make sure that those are ready to go to their new home. Uh, I don't want to sell the next one. I'm not going to show it just yet. <laughs> it's going to be like this all the time. <laughs> next up is a quilt, a little lap quilt, or a wall hanging. You could use it for either. Um, this is Jane's vice versa quilt. It's since been used as a um, paint forward as well, actually. Yeah. We've done two, it's a half metre heaven make. But because this one was made by Jane, we just felt that someone may want to have it. Um, and it's lovely. It's a really clever, it's a bagged out quilt. This one's also no sold out. You get there quicker see than you're we can. Be doing this. 
Everyone's bought that one already. Yeah. Or tried to buy that one already and one person's got it. Well done you. And these are one-offs. You know, get it quick or it's gone. Yes. Buy me now or lose me forever. Yeah. And there aren't just things just made by Natasha or Jane. There will be little things made by me as well, here and there. Um, this is one of the prototype bowl cozies. In fact, I think this is the one I made on the show. And I did, did a little cutlery roll as well. I'm going to have to dig that you one did. out. You did. But the bowl cozy is a really nice size for your cereal bowl or your soup bowl. It is cotton. Um, and I don't generally put these in the microwave. I tend to warm my bowl up and then just have this so that I can hold my hot food and not burn my little hand. So it suit you, SJ. We have it really lovely would. bowl cozy. I've always had um, my parents are very against eating in front of the television. Oh, are they? Yeah, when I was growing up, it was a no-no. So we would oh. sit at the dining table or at the kitchen table. We'd all eat together, and then you could kind of go off and do your own thing. So now you're all about eating so, the, the telly. So yeah. So when you can. well, yeah. So <laughs> my fiance bought a flat, which is. Again, yeah. considerably short on <laughs> luxury <Thanks>. space. Yeah. <laughs> um, so there's no room for a dining table or a breakfast bar. So it is yeah. sitting on the couch in, nice. and eating dinner every day. And um, it's kind of my favourite thing to do at this time of year, though, with a bowl of soup. It or is, but then when you've or... got a really hot plate yeah. and yeah, you put yeah. it on your lap. And it just it's not ideal. burns through your jeans. Or a tray is like it slides. Oh no so, no no! Yeah, I can't I'm do that. Happier. I'm also very clumsy as well. So yeah. these bowl cozies have come in very handy for me. I eat a lot of rice as well. And my friend is well, she's Cantonese. She's born in Hong Kong, and she took me in London to a Chinese restaurant. And a she didn't order anything that was on the menu. She spoke to them at top speed in a language I don't understand. Got a custom dish. Went like this and went not like that. You know, <laughs> explained to me exactly how to make the item. But when the food came, she's like, I'm going to say this to you now. Do not be English. You pick your bowl up because to, to us, like to, to British people, it is rude to pick your bowl up and have it under your chin and shovel your food yeah. in. She said, but in my culture, it's rude to leave it on the table. I went, OK, that works. <laughs> I'm really happy. So I now have my rice bowl in one of these and I sit and I very happily eat with it up to my chin, knowing that I'm being polite somewhere in the world. Um, <laughs> But the bowl cosy that I just showed you, the brown one, that is using the bowl cosy pattern that I created, which is on the website as well. We also then had bowl cosies that were made using the creative grids. Um, Natasha made the small version and the large version. So this one's for your sort of serving bowl. So you've got, you know, for the table, you put your hot bowl in there and then you lift it and put it on the table. It will, you know, give some protection to the table. And she made the little individual shovel into your face in front of the telly size as well. So those are old fashioned Christmas fabrics by Riley Blake. They are lovely. But just a nice little matching pair. Do you know what, although they are Christmas yeah, they're fabrics, not they're not really mm -hmm. are they? I think that's, that's no. definitely something that could be used You've all year round. You've got some holly and some tartan, but yeah, they're lovely. And the stars are gorgeous and, as um, well. And you can turn them inside out. Yeah. Yeah. Which we love that. We were saying yesterday we like a reversible bag as well. Probably because, you know, wouldn't trust myself with the cream on the inside though. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's why Tash has got them that way yeah. around. But if it did get stained or marked and you wanted it to look nice on the table with your serving bowl inside, you could easily turn them the other way. So why not? Uh, on the bowl front, I think we'll stick with a the bowl theme. Mm -hmm. Natasha also made from a book that I've posted as well, which was a search press book. She made these amazing fabric bowls. Now we've made several of these. We've got some through an NMHQ that we use. Natasha's got some at home. They're buckram, so they're firm, okay? Firm bowls. This one is Dutch Heritage, beautiful. We've sold out of this one already. And this one's Icelandic Poppy. The Icelandic Poppy's gone. Yes. Yeah, Ruby Star. I'm not surprised, because the metallic detail in this is lovely. So. Well done you if you got it. These are fabulous. They're really, really fun to make as well. So if they are something you're interested in, the shows are always there. You can catch the shows back, but the book is available on our website and um, Buckram is as well. Yes. Just saying. Really nice make. Okay. Oh, I'm a, is everyone keeping up with me? 
I think so. No one's told us we've lost sound or that they can't hear us or that I'm talking too fast. <laughs> <laughs> Vicky said, if it's if it all goes quiet, it's because we are looking at the goodies <coughs> and I guess everyone's got to be fast on wanting those goodies. Yeah. And we have John Cornwall oh, join us. Oh, lovely John. John was with us yesterday. If you missed that show, watch it back. It was finishing his summer quilt um, and also the um, Chris sparkly Christmas quilt got a little show as well. Very beautiful. Right, now these are the ones I don't want to go. They've probably gone already anyway, so I just need to get my big girl pants on and not cry about it. Let me quickly check. There's a duo. So we have, it's the Tilda Windy Days. <coughs> now, this cushion was made as a little sample. It, that's a bit of a Natasha and Jane together make. Tash will have pieced it and then Jane's finished it and turned it into a cushion. That one is so actually it's still available. Envelope back. Please don't buy this. Envelope <laughs> back with the lovely piped edge as well. And that's the Tilda Cornflower Blue that's in there. That has been made. You really need to buy these together, whoever buys them, please. Otherwise, I really, really will be upset. <laughs> you like the way I've got this rule going on? Then we have the quilt top. So this is just a top. You've not got backing, So this has already wadding. sold out. Right. Whoever bought this, you need the cushion. I'll be phoning you later <laughs> to tell you you need the cushion. But uh, joking aside, if this is a kit you bought and you're going to be making this, that's a really great buy to be able to have the cushion to match it. It's just gorgeous. I loved this collection as well. Yes, the it Tilda was Windy very Days pretty. was adorable. Mm -hmm. You've got the lady out in her raincoat with her dog. It's quite apt for the weather right now as well, really isn't it? I've actually is. got a pair of wellies on today. We was, you have. <laughs> <laughs> you have. But, um, yeah, we were saying it's a bit like going to need a boat soon to get anywhere. Natasha lives near a river in Cornwall. <laughs> it's going to be fabulous, isn't it? I said to her how, this morning, how's the river going? She was like, wet. <laughs> yeah. Okay, on the cushion front, again, this is gorgeous, this. This is from, uh, there was a panel called The Brook, and it's a William Morris. I'm going to turn it actually and go close up, I think, because it is just too gorgeous for words. Can you see that? There we go. Look at the detail in that panel, it's just gorgeous. And Natasha's done a really nice flanged edge, and then a This one's also sold out. Oh, of course it has. Lovely piped, envelope back. This Whoever one is got gorgeous. That, well done you. Well done you. Marvellous. I can see Inga's going to be busy packing, isn't she? She is. And I guess a lot of people will be thinking of either for themselves or perhaps a little bit of a Christmas present. Yes. We've got a few Christmas presents. I'm going to go on to some Christmas items, actually, because I think that's a good plan. Um, this is a gorgeous mate. Yes. I really hope that Jane's not going to be miffed. She did have a chance a little while ago to choose, <coughs> excuse me, things that she might want. <laughs> but she might see us now and say, hang on a minute, I want that thing I made. This is a brilliant hanging. So there's a little pocket on the back that you can pop um, a hanger into it's or a down. It's gone. It gone. Yeah. We're going to show it anyway because it's just so It beautiful. is gorgeous and I love and the bells. We have the instructions. The instructions are available. Don't, you know, be distraught if you miss this one. The little bells are just Liberty Bells. We've had those before. We may still have a few rattling around the and warehouse. And I guess the great thing about this as well is that you could make it in all planes, really, yes. couldn't you? Yeah, you if could. you really wanted to. And obviously we've got plenty of stock of yeah, the planes. We have. we have got some Macau linen texture as well, which is what the tree is. And... Um, your little presents at the bottom. Could be made in any fabric. That's just a really nice block to have. Mm. So the pattern's there. If it is something you missed out on, the pattern's available for you. The next one, we have the sample. But so I cute. also have the instructions. But I have got kit as well. And with the kit, I have put the instructions today as a Black Friday deal. Yes. You can see. Yeah. So kit with free instructions is there, as is the sample. So it's up to you if you so want to get the made. Cheeky Christmas Elf, as made by Jane. It's a lovely applique project. So uh, the work in here is just gorgeous. But he is wonderful. And we, um, when we made him, we did a jumbo um, sack as well, Christmas sack. Yes. And we've appliqued him onto the front of a jumbo Christmas sack. He's gone off to a relative. But it's bound in Lisa Chandler Hampton stripe. 
which actually works perfectly it with really it, does doesn't it? His arms are Lisa Chandler mm. Hampton stripe. There's a bit of macaw in here with the uh, with the bears, polar bears. Look at his little feet. They're just lovely. And this is uh, this background fabric here. That is um, cranberries and cream moda, and it's backed very beautifully in William Morris. So you know, this is all premium fabric, just lovely. Really beautiful. And I just the sparkle on the bow is great. I don't know how much you can see the sparkliness. But he is super cute. So we have him available and also kit with free instructions today as well. Now, do you remember, SJ, when mm -hmm. there was a book about gnomes for your home and I said I wanted to do a gnome show and Natasha said no. And so I ordered the gnome book, <laughs> spoke to Jane and said, when Natasha's on holiday, should we do a gnome show? And she went, yeah, let's do it, because she loves a gnome. I do remember this I show. I love a gnome, and we did a gnome show. Okay, so first and foremost, we've got a quilt top, which was put together, I think it was put together on the show. Um, so this is one that you would, again, need to sandwich and bind and quilt. But you've got gnomes there, and then more gnomes including a green one and they're lovely they've got little pink noses go into here oh you know when I said it also come up with an error message every now and again yeah. SJ that that's what it's just done there and it loses your preview screen there we go you're all learning something as well now but yeah you can see a little pink nose lovely piece not only helping uh, present today but I'm also getting training I know <laughs> I know I know. It's like the blind leading the blind. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we try our best. Hopefully, it's going okay. I really like this actually as a modern Christmas quilt because you do get people who don't really want anything too Christmassy. They want yes. something really subtle. A little bit subtle. I've got friends and their houses are all white and grey and simplistic and they just want everything really simplistic. They wouldn't want a fussy Christmas decoration. This quilt top's ready to go. You know, you sandwich that with some wadding, some backing, quilt it through, proper binding on it, job done. Lovely Christmas gift. Um, and anyone who wants to make that, if you've got your own fabrics, again, the book is on the website. And in the same book, you will find... <laughs> it's hurting me, this, because I want loads of these. No. You will find this. Um, this is gnomes all around, which meant I was singing Love is All cute. Around, but with the word gnome in it for a little while yesterday which you can imagine Inga was delighted with. I can, I can she imagine. She loves it when I sing. Mm -hmm. I think it went along the lines of, I flipping hate that song, and it was in the charts for many, 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 <laughs> many, 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 many weeks. <laughs> we like a bit of Marty Pello in our house. There we go. How cute are they? The pièce de résistance for me again is their little noses. They are so cute. They are cute. Beautiful. All made by Jane's Fair Hand, those two. Who doesn't love a gnome? <laughs> right, inbox. Okay, taking a breather. Um, you might have noticed, just peeping away at the front here, we have some stuffies. Mm, they're so cute. I know they are. I'm no. just looking at the back. They the are fabric really on the sweet. back is gorgeous. So when we launched our most recent Lewis and Irene um, Small Things collection, which is Small Things Wild Animals, a couple of stuffies were created just for decoration in the background on the show. Uh, and they're really sweet, really sweet. Nice and soft, stuffed with scraps. So cute. Just little cuddlies. So those are available as well. If they're still available by the end of the show, oh. I might have to get them for my niece. I thought you might say that. She loves, she loves um, animals at the moment, really obsessed with just any It's when they start animals. trying to say animals and it comes out, oh, animals. Am yeah, yeah, yeah. So <laughs> she's, recently, she's recently got this toy laptop. It, oh. it does a lot of things, but all she's obsessed with is the animals that come up on the screen. So it's animals, animals. Oh. She's such a munch. She is. I guess everyone's over is clanging in this building. Um, we also have a little easy sunglasses case. Now, Natasha called this a sunglasses case. I said to her, hang on a minute, why did it not just get called a glasses case? Because you could put any glasses in it. Oh, yeah, well, none of us ever thought about that. I never thought and about that. And she said, either. no, why did I do that? And then she stopped herself and she said, well, hang on, no, no, no. 
should have did it because I made it big enough to take a big pair of sunglasses because they tend to be chunkier than a normal they pair do. of glasses. They do, they do. But this will take your sunglasses or your glasses even if they're your big day Medna jobs. We have loaded this on the website as glasses case though, not yes. a sunglasses case, yes. the sample. Yes, yeah. I've done that on purpose. Yeah, I just want, in case everyone's looking for sunglasses but case and can't find it. But it has a frame, kind of handy, mm. just squidge and there you go, in pop your glasses. Nice. She does make a um, good point though, your sunglasses, for some reason we always like the big sunglasses, yeah, yeah. don't we? Lock but we'd, <laughs> we'd never wear actual glasses I that would size. I I could get them. Oh, okay. These aren't big enough for my liking. I love a big pair of I already of have a small round face. I couldn't have a oh, big no. pair that... I've got a big old face. I like a big pair of glasses. <laughs> but I can't get them big enough. Um, so yes, this is up there, made by Natasha's fair hand. We also have... Oh, now she doesn't want this to sell. There was a few things she doesn't want to sell. This yeah. is one of them. Um, this is a sewable paper pouch, so it looks like leather. The stitching, let me see. There we go. And it's got a little cam, slap, cam snap closure. That came out of slap. Cam <laughs> snap, no slap, closure. And this beautiful Barry J fabric. For the lanterns. This is also I already sold out, so Natasha's not going to be very happy. Whoever it was that bought that knew what they were buying, you see. They saw that and thought, well, that sewable paper's not cheap. And uh, there it is. Okay, we then have a couple of tidy ups. So we have, now this one is called the Lisa Chandler Flower Basket. <laughs> it is a flower basket, however, it's a tidy up. And you could put all sorts in here. It's denim and then beautifully lined this but just they're so handy that is these. very pretty they yeah they are so handy these we have these in um, the bathrooms at NMHQ and we just have things well makeup brushes in one um, although in Natasha's room she's got a big old coffee jar with some Epsom salts in the bottom and then a great big piece of Odile by Earl yes. velvet board around it but no we have things like this you know cotton wool's really good in these and you can do bigger ones as well nappies and stuff in and yes nice nice to have so that's up there too we also have then now this is a very beautiful and detailed make this is the lisa chandler tidy up i'm going to go into close-up so we can admire this properly it's made in william morris as you can see just gorgeous you've got these little pockets here so all these like a little leaf and then even the lining inside is william morris I, I think, to be quite honest, Natasha would be really happy if this doesn't go, um, because it is so beautiful. And it's very nicely made, actually. Well done, she's Tash. Um, well she's done not going to be very happy because it's already <laughs> gone. <laughs> <laughs> Why do I keep saying this every time it's something that's sold? I can't see if things are sold yet. <laughs> Genuinely can't. I can't, I can't. Yesterday, one of the things Natasha didn't want to sell was the Tim Holtz and Cork scissor keep. They had gone before we even went to air. Oh. Uh, well, within a minute of us going to air, because we do set these up so they go live bang on 10. Um, we found another scissor keep. Or I found another scissor mm. keep. She probably wants this one as well. This is Liberty. Has a little bit of that there silky, I think we call this um, rat's tail. Rat's tail ribbon. And uh, yeah, there's room for your big shears in the back. Embroidery scissors in the middle. And then perhaps you... Easy snips or uh, <coughs> EZ snips? EZ. In the front. They are a nice little make, actually. I've made a few of these for family and friends, and I've popped a pair of scissors in so that they don't open it and go, well, what's that then? Um, it is a nice little gift, actually, isn't it? I that one has already sold out. Well, the, pr the pattern is up. But yes. I did them for my mum and my mother-in-law on Mother's Day and put them a set of big shears, embroidered scissors and easy yeah. snips in. I mean, that was a proper decadent gift, but... If you know, you can make this from little little offcuts that you've got. I was going to say it doesn't take a lot of fabric either, no. does it? And you so. don't have to put the little loop in if you don't want to. It's up to you if you have a hanging loop. But just one small pair of scissors gives them the idea of that's what it's for. So really nice gift. Well done you. Whoever got that. SJ, I don't know which way to turn. It's like a constant thing now. And now we have got I'm a lot. I'm kind of exhausted. Can I have a lie down? Not just yet. Okay. We we'll get to go to the cafe afterwards. Yeah, I think okay. we're going to need to. <laughs> now, John Cole Morgan was with us earlier, wasn't he? Um, he's mentioned to me before that this is his quilt. favourite quilt we have ever made. Uh, you love it too? Yeah, I do. Yeah. I do really love this. I love um, the colours in it. I didn't want us to put it up, 
So I'm surprised that Jane I, was happy for us to put this one up. I don't know up. that Jane knows it's gone up. Oh, uh, but <laughs> Natasha knows. Natasha said, "Let's put this one up." This is it. the autumn wall hanging slash quilt because it went down as a wall hanging, but I think it's a really nice lap quilt size or small person quilt size. I and would definitely put this on lovely. my lap. This is all the boutiques in all the world, and I'm a boutiques fan. But what Jane's done as well is she has put the detail through on it in a variegated thread. This is what I love about it. The colours that are in it are just incredible. But look so at that purple leaf. leaf and the colours in that. But you can see that beautiful variegated oh, thread as well. Just lovely. And it looks different in every single leaf. Looks great. This one is actually still available as well, so... That might be an SJ purchase, or if John yeah. sees it, he'll go mad, because he's told me before that he Natasha may it. as well not pay me this month. <laughs> Just let her have the stuffies for the niece. The quilt for herself. You're just going to do all your Christmas shopping here, SJ. Yeah, I just... Love a bit of Christmas, don't you? I just love this. <laughs> I we also all love this. I also love the border. Oh, yes, yeah, so Jane has done it as a scrappy border, yeah. which, of course, because it's rainbow batiks, has ended up being a sort of rainbowish border. I love a scrappy border. I think the thing is with this quilt is there's just so much detail in it yeah. that you don't necessarily see from the get-go. Yeah. But when you see it up close, it really is an amazing piece. It is, and it's beautifully backed, gorgeous backing fabric on it, really lovely. I think that's Anna Maria Horner. I might be wrong, so don't quote me, but that's lovely. But yeah, the binding, the scrappy binding is great. So it, it's done. This one's done. There is nothing here I can see that needs to be done. Beautifully quilted. It needs to stay, in my opinion. So if you don't buy that one, I'm not going to be upset about it. It can stay. That's going to have to go on my likes. chair. <laughs> <laughs> Are you looking for a, a, a switch around of your chair? Or the quilt that sits on the back of my chair. We need to get you making. I've decided. <laughs> it's a plan. Um, and on that, I like admiring thought, everyone else's makes. <laughs> on that thought, the next make I've got, we've got a kit. And we've got a finished quilt. Now I, well, almost finished. It's got a bit of binding to do, which we'll see if we can throw a bit of binding fabric in for you as a freebie. It's backed again in William Morris, pieced William Morris. Lovely. But this is the Jane Sassaman fabrics with a bit of cave in the middle. Wrong way up. Oh, there we go. A bit of brocade peony in the middle, cave. We've got some uh, Macawa spray time there. We've got Jane Sassaman, some of our premium planes, and more Jane Sassaman. Now, this was made with this here bundle and the Creative Grid scallop template. So you can see you've got all the wavy bits that you need in all the world to Ooh. make this. And We're the tutorial the is still up. What I've done is I've put a Black Friday special on this one last quilt, we've got, quilt kit that we've got, which is enough for your quilt top, with this in as well. You will see it's a really fabulous It's a deal. really big saving on that yeah. one. Yeah, and on that basis, this quilt is less than I would otherwise have put it up for. It's a beauty. Now, when she made this one, I did a little gasp. Because I just think the colours are divine. It's so impactful. And Brocade Peony... Is, is one of my favourite I love caves. the edging as well, though. I love um, the, the, the scallop template. Beautiful, beautiful. I am going just to show the cave. Take the sticker off. Pop that there. Because I think, if anyone's not familiar with this particular fabric, it was from last year, 2021. It was such a clever fabric because you've got that really vibrant background print going with, in with some real sort of realism of the flowers at the front. It's fabulous. And the combination of colour on that is just divine. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Have we lost everyone? Are they still with us? No, we're too still, busy no. shopping to ever chat We now? do. Hey? Anyone chatting? Oh, do you know what I've forgotten to do? 
been too busy. I forgot to add the link. <laughs> Anyone else who wants to shop, you can find it yourself because SJ has been so busy having fun. Everyone has been able to find them though. Yeah, they have. These have been selling. So link needs to go on YouTube and Facebook. Sorry, that's normally my job. But oh, Auntie, Auntie Lizzie's Jeff joined Jeff. us. Hi, Auntie Lizzie. She has said good morning, SJ and Aww. Gemma, and all is Jane and Wow. She is a little poorly, so she's <laughs> having a rest at home. And uh, Vicky's of the week. replied, she is. So we have the mischief <laughs> makers <laughs> with all the bargains, all the with all the special treats. Yeah. Um, yep, yep, yep. I quite like that name, mischief makers. <laughs> We're not just Natasha Makes. We've also started doing some bakes. Yeah, bakes, yes. We have. Lizzie bought us a cake in yesterday. It was great. It was. She did a great job. Have you had some yet this morning? I have. I have. I was naughty and I had cake. For breakfast. For breakfast. Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of life. Oh, Vicky's just doing my job for me now, thanks. Oh, well done, Vic. <laughs> Yeah, well done. She's just, uh, there, just click pops in. the link on. Yeah. So I'm just going to pin, pin that. that <laughs> Well, from the payroll next. I know. <laughs> doing a really, doing a really good labor. job here, aren't That's I? That's marvellous. Anyone else wants to do some work and paid, knock yourselves out. That'd be yeah. wonderful. Um, I don't know how Gemma have. does all the juggling because I'm <laughs> clearly struggling. <laughs> right, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Um, another make then. Let's have a look at some other bits and bobs. Yesterday, Natasha put up a little pouch with a little cam snap, like this one. Um and it disappeared in milliseconds. We have this in the Hampton Stripe today. You're gonna tell me it's gone? No, no, it's no, 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 no. we've still got okay. this one. We've also got the taller version of the pouch that Natasha made. All that needs to happen is you've got these little punched holes that just needs sewing on. Just needs this to be, it's a, it's a front of the telly job. I was gonna say that's a hand stitching job, isn't it? That's a sit, watch the telly and sit and hand stitch. We still have these leather zips available. I found some more stocks, I've put them up. Um, and they are 5 99 I think. So I'm for the, the pouch is. So the pouch is 10 99 Yeah. Well, the, the zip on the and side is a 5 99 job. Yeah. Um, and then the smaller pouch is only 5 99 Yeah. This little. Yeah, yeah. There you go. So nice little, nice little stocking fillers. I think these are good because they are as well. One of those things quite handy. Yes. Unisex. Nice. It's a good one. But yeah, you just need to stitch this little zip on. But it's all got, I think that Styleville fix in there. It feels firm enough. It's a fusible foam rather than a H640. I'm going to say the same for that one. They both feel like fusible foam to me. Can't guarantee it. But to me, that is foam rather than H640. Please. So those are up as well. Oh, we're cracking on, aren't we? We are. This is good. Um, oh, where do we go next? I, I'm totally befuddled, I tell you. I tell you what we're going to do. We're going to talk about this one, which I keep putting off because I love a batik, and I know you're going to do the whole wincing thing as well because you're the same as I me. I do. With batiks. I love batiks. This is Especially in a these lovely colours. wall hanging. Now, what Jane's done on this one is she's put a pocket in as well for you to put a dowel through so that oh. you can then hang it. I never knew that. She's a clever girl. She does these Very things. Very clever. So, yeah. Um, this is what we call a curvy log cabin. Do you like how I'm remembering all this, eh? I know. I, I looked at these and I'm like, I can remember what all of them are. I must be learning. Must be learning. Creative grids make the most wonderful rulers. And if you want to have a go at log cabins, or in this case, a curvy log cabin, then they make it so simple rather than having to work it all out. We do shows on all these different things so that you can watch them back and you've got the support there. But every creative grid comes with instructions. Now, this particular make, I can't remember what size of creative grid Jane used. It will have been one of the larger ones. We have, I believe now, sold out of some of the sizes today. Um, but we have, we have got the smaller one available. So if you wanted to buy this beautiful sample and then have... The little creative grid there to make matching bits and bobs be quite nice It'd be nice as a table center this yes you can make little coasters with the smaller ones um really really beautiful and i love the backing on it as well it's oh the backing on it yeah is, i think course. you need to show that this off. is acanthus so this is william morris acanthus i'm a fan of acanthus actually anyone who's been on my instagram can see i am because i made Myself, a um, out of a beautiful orange, burnt orange, boiled wool. I remember. That throw, yes. that, yeah, yeah, yeah. That sky wrap with a little turned down collar that was acanthus, and I made the dog a matching coat. 
So she's got a William Morris collar on her she's coat. She's a very well. spoiled dog. She is a very spoiled dog. Very spoiled indeed. So there's that one. I'm going to say next, I'm going to give a little mention to this here. I'm just going to give it a little lift. Oh no, second. all of I my know. mess is going to be seen behind. Well, kind of not. It's only a laptop. Oh, True. Right. It doesn't look too messy. It doesn't. This is the Twisted Knitting Bag. Now, again, Natasha said, I don't know that I want to sell this one. Perhaps we don't, won't put it up. And then she said, well, we will put it up, but if it doesn't sell, that's fine. Because a lot of work goes into them, you know, and she falls in love with them a bit. Um, I can't see even that there's a turning through gap to do here. I think she might actually have done it all. Um, this is made in the Eminence floral um, and some starry. Absolutely gorgeous. There's a little bit of metallic to this. It's already sold. It out. has gone. Yeah. It's going to be so miffed. Ah, well done, you, whoever got that one. Uh, it is one of Natasha's favourites. So, good taste. Excellent taste. And you will see when you get it. Can you see this little bit of metallic? Yes. We may lovely. still have some of this fabric available if it's something you're in love with. But that's the Lisa Chandler Twisted Knitting Bag if it's something you want to have a go at yourself. Because, again, it's a really fun technique with just a little twist and it looks so impactful but it's actually not massively complicated it's just taking the time and following it through properly but Natasha's made a few pinned up projects now so you can follow her and get it right okay uh, we've got some pouches I'm going to go through those I'm going to show all four I think at the same time so these are our lace zip pouch now they vary ever so slightly in size I'll go overhead for these and we can see them better. Okay, look at these. So you've got two that are this size, you've got one that's ever so slightly smaller. We've They're only got really one of these available. Beautiful <laughs> premium fabric and then we've got one teeny, teeny, tiny one. It's only the teeny, tiny one that's well, still the teeny, available. the teeny, tiny one's a nice size. I'm going to be honest, this is the kind of pouch that I made for my girls as teenagers for them to put their ladies' things in because there's nothing wrong you know, with walking around with your ladies' things in your hand. But sometimes when you when you you know, quite young and that's all new I was gonna to you, say when you're new to the it's game, a bit it's a bit embarrassing for you. Yeah. And to have a little pouch of some description to pop your bits and bobs in, it's just nice. Or it sounds terrible, you know, but I used to do that thing where I try and shove it up my sleeve, but then when you get to summertime and there's no sleeves. Okay. So having a little pouch that you can just but I spare pair of knickers as well. I, I, you've got to say these things, ladies understand, you know. Um, but yeah, spare pair of knickers in your bag. You don't want people to look in your bag and see a spare pair of knickers, but to have them for if you need them, it is just hide things. So even if when they take the items out of their bag, they take them out of the pouch, at least. Well, they can just. When people look open, in their school bag, yeah. they can't see the bits and bobs. Yeah. But these are so useful, so many, so many things. Tissues, all of that. When you want those small items in your bag and you're like, where are they, rummage? That would be a much easier thing to see, but it's not going to take up space. So, no. these are the lace it pouch. Now, we do a lace it pouch flat, and we also do a lace it pouch pyramid. Now, I haven't got this one live at the moment, actually, I don't think. I've just it's remembered not, I've no. got to agree a price on it. I've made a few of these now, and I have one that is full of quilt clips. And what's brilliant about them is they just stand up. So you can throw your quilt clips in and pull them out, but they just stand up on their own when they're full of quilt clips, and they're a really nice weight. So you've got the instructions available for both. This will go up later. Keep an eye out for it. Okay. Right. SJ. Yes. Have we had anyone ask any questions? Can they still hear us? Are we still no. here? No. So we have had <laughs> Becky say, we are here, just loving it all, I think. For once, we're actually doing a good job. <laughs> and Tash has oh, joined us. 50. Wow, Tash, that's cheap. Are you sure? You know what price those um, those lace zips are? Come on. Oh, she put late to the party. Mabel wouldn't wait. I know. She's saying we could do that pyramid pouch for seven fifty. Are you sure? The lace zips aren't cheap, and then you've got loads of fabric in there. She's a nutter. Go on, go on. Go on Should I do it? Yeah, just do it. She's mad. So You're not right, you know. <laughs> There's just something wrong there. Madam she is. Here we go. This is why we don't let Natasha make all the big decisions. <laughs> so What have, what have we said? 750? Yeah, that's fine. So that's fine. Just 
me to click it live. She's a menace. I don't know. Eek. This needs to go active. There we are. There we go. So you should on now goes, be able to just checking that I've yeah, put it yeah, on everything. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, you should now be able to see that on yeah. the live yeah, pages. Yeah, I pulled it up to the right page. It was just, I needed to check a price with her and I forgot. It's not like we Sorry. had anything else to do this morning, is it? No, okay. no, you weren't busy making anything else, were yeah. you? Oh, okay. So just as we were about to go to air, it's about 10 to 10, to 10 and I went, I want to tie my hair up. I said, is Natasha taking all the scrunchies with her that she made? And SJ's like, I can't see one. I said, oh. So I literally ran through to the warehouse one in the scraps bin, grabbed a bit of fabric and cut myself a strip, got a hair bobble out of my handbag and machined and then got as far as this. And SJ's going, Gemma, you haven't got time to finish a scrunchie before 10. <laughs> I have really. But I did put it down because I, out of respect for my lovely colleague who was a bit, ah! <laughs> uh, <laughs> but I could have done. I, the only reason I haven't is because that machine is threaded up in white and I wanted to just thread in black to be able to go around the edge. But if you miss Natasha's show on Monday, three different ways to make a scrunchie, honestly, this, didn't, this wasn't even in my imagination at 10 to 10. And by three minutes to 10, I've got to that stage ready to sew around and I've had to go and get fabric from down in the warehouse. So these are And she had to deal with me saying, no, Gemma, no. I know, and then she I stopped remember, me. I remember I back in the, the day machine. when we did our first show together yeah. and we were both panicking, having to calm each other down. We were ready half an hour before the show. And then today, <laughs> I'm like, Gemma, we've got two minutes to air, two minutes. You're doing a tash on me, Gemma. What are you doing making a hair bubble? To be fair, if we'd have gone live and I'd just said, sorry everyone, I'm just making myself yeah, a scrunchie, no not... one would have battered an eyelid. No, true. They wouldn't have true. cared. It would have all been fine. Yes. It would have all been fine. Um, right, next make, SJ, next make. I'm going to say we go with this special Ooh. selection here. I've pulled Kay. two for a reason. So Jane has made, in her time, some bargellos. Now we've got one that is on the wall in our warehouse and boom, it's fabulous. Um... So it was so fabulous, we got her to do it again this year. Because we said, Jane, come on, everyone needs to see this again, it's marvellous. And she did it in two different colourways for us. With the best one in the world, we don't need many, many Bargellos as a sample. We just don't. And we don't stock these particular fabric ranges anymore, so we thought that now was the time to share them with you. This one here is Moda Wildflowers. Look at that. It's amazing. This is a devilishly, actually, simple thing to do, so long as you follow Jane's instructions. So I have put the instructions It does look very complicated you. when you Doesn't take a it? glance, though. It really does. But once you get your head around it, you follow her instructions. And we've got tutorials from her twice now on how to do this. It's something that you can do. But that is a complete quilt. It is quilted. It is bound. It's backed with gorgeous ombre woven in lime. It's stunning. Yep, and then she's done all the binding with chartreuse. And I have to say actually, where Jane's concerned, just to be clear about this, she's not someone to just whack the, um, the binding round and then machine through all the layers. That is not a Jane thing. She can't bring herself to do it. Doesn't matter how busy she is. She would stay up all night if she needed to. She will sit and hand stitch this binding on, just as I will actually. It's just a thing that you either you either have to do it or you don't, and Jane has to. So I'm just going to show you. You will see she has hand stitched that binding on. It is there, beautifully done, by the fair Stitchy Witch's own hand. And she still thinks that these samples aren't good uh, enough. And she still thinks these samples. Wow, it's not that she thinks they're not good enough. It's just that she cringes a little bit. We all do. We're perfectionists, you yeah. know. And she goes. I made it in a hurry and, and, and. Can't ask people to pay right, for it. Right, exactly. But, I same? mean, Vicky has, has made a comment earlier this morning saying that it would be such an amazing treat to have a quilt that's been made yes. by Jane yeah. or Natasha. Yeah. Or, I mean, we've even got some makes on our sample sale from some of our guest designers. Yeah, we so have. we had some from John yeah, yesterday. We did. We've got so, you items know. from others, yeah. Well. It is a treat. It is. It is. So that's your quilt, your Bargello quilt in Moda Wildflowers. Like I say, backed in the Moda Ombre Woven and bound 
This is a quilt top. So this was the one that Jane did on the demo on the actual show, whereas that was the one she'd done beforehand to show you what the bundle would make up like. Now, which way around are we, SJ? Is that right? Yeah. This is, again, a Moda. This is the Crystal Manning Paisley Rose collection. So Crystal Manning designed this for Moda. Natasha is particularly in love with this. She took the photo yesterday and she just went, it just <laughs> photographs so beautifully. It's got the paisley through it. I am astonished she's allowed this to go up. I would not be surprised if she whips this back down off the website at some point in the next couple of hours <laughs> when she has that remorse moment because it is just so stunning. And those colours look fabulous together. So that is a quilt top that will need backing and binding. Like we said, fabulous deals on the backing fabrics today. The bind, uh, the wadding is also in the collection, so you can find that easy enough if you need to buy some wadding. But those are your Bargello quilts. Oh, you know when you should have brought a glass of water in? I've done too much yeah, talking. I did say, I did say. <laughs> I know, but my, my head was in the land of... Oh, Tasha said, too. sorry, I took the scrunchies for Emily. <laughs> it's all right, I'll have one about a minute and a half after the show. <laughs> I've got to thread the machine up first in black. Okay. Ah. I folded this one calico side out because I'm really not sure that I can part with it, although it's gone live at 10 so who knows it may be gone already this was a really recent make it is just stunning absolutely stunning i can't even see which one it is oh you're hiding it from me too welcome friends this is welcome friends it's from an annie's quilting book christmas quilting project book um was featured recently and it's made in the poinsettia plaza fabric collection with a little bit of threads that bind actually, which was chosen by Jane. It's just the perfect combo. This is from threads that bind as well. If we lift it right up, look. I mean, it's complete. It's just I gorgeous. love how we've got the two shortest people in the team know. to be showing off these quilts. Well, it's when I said to you yesterday, you were like, do you need me on camera really? And I said, I can't see that I'm gonna be able to hold these. It would have been like this. <laughs> this is the lovely <laughs> quilt, isn't it looking nice? <laughs> <laughs> it's not an easy thing, is it? But um, I, when she made this, I just was speechless. I just think it is stunning. Um, and again, if this one doesn't sell, I will not be sad at all because it, it needs to come home with me. It is still available. It just doesn't so go with my fastest lounge. fingers burst. And that's the only reason. But I'm still thinking that that would make the most beautiful gift. It doesn't look like Jane has actually signed the back of this one either at the moment. So you could put a label on it. <laughs> Beautifully all, made by me. <laughs> all of these quilts or little projects that you've still got to finish off bits to. I mean, you could yeah. get away with saying that they're yours still, yeah. couldn't you? Because you still oh, had to do something to finish on. them. Did you sew that? Yes, I did. <laughs> the label. <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely something I would try and do. I'll tell you what, something you could sew though definitely could so and we need to get you doing this at some point is our four out of two fat quarter bags these are not tricky these are a lovely make they're so much they fun are. so we have here four halloween bags and if you haven't made the four out of two fat quarter bags why not um they're a great make we do have the instructions up however I've also popped into today's collection. We've got really fabulous bundles where you can get two fat quarters of fabric and the instructions. Oh, Izzy Wiz, thank you. Just go straight in front of the camera, it's fine. That's oh, Izzy's head. <laughs> <laughs> now what you can do, darling, is you can go under the camera. You see just in front of the cabinet there, if you do this sideways walk like this. Yeah, that's where I, I tend to shuffle seen. across. You can get all the way up here and all the way down because the camera doesn't catch you. Just for future reference. Oh, I thought you were yeah. loud. Just for future reference, you know, when you're delivering Sorry. drinks and things. Thank you, Is my it okay? That's very sweet of you. We love Izzy. She's got fabulous hair. I think you've got a fleeting glimpse of it. Um, but no, the, the bundles that we've got up, you get the two fat quarters of fabric and you get the instructions for free. So it's really worthwhile if you want to have a go at making these yourself, grabbing those bundles while you can. They sell out really quickly. I have created new ones added extra stock in where I can, but we are at like 
Last Chance Saloon on those now. Have we got um, these on the website? Yes, so these are just down as, probably need to tag them, I think these are down as mini Halloween bags. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. I found them. You got them? Yeah. Yep. So we've got four mini Halloween ones. Beautiful. When we had these as the kits, they sold out mm -hmm. super fast. Yeah. And then we had to take fabric down from other places yeah. to make more kits and they sold out so quickly. So And don't forget, when you make things, we don't mind you selling what you've made. Please don't reproduce our patterns. Natasha draws the line there. That's our, that's our income. That's how we stay here delivering you the shows. But if you want to make these and then sell them, you can. And I've seen actually someone who's been on the show before has popped a picture of the most recent ones. We did the Joyful Joyful yes. on Facebook this week. And um, everyone's saying, oh my gosh, can I have one? Can I have two? Can I have whatever? She's selling them for five pounds each. So they are definitely worth learning to do. Or if you just want to buy four, Natasha's got those up. I think she's got those at 9.99 for four. Yes. Which is crazy. <laughs> yeah. It's crazy. Oh yes. So that's those there. We've also got five in the Riley Blake. Don't ask me how we ended up with five. I think Natasha made eight and then has given them as gifts. So that will have come from the same bundle. These came from the same bundle, but they're all from the same collection. That's exactly what she's done. So she's made four in this colorway and four in this colorway, so eight, and then she's gifted items yeah Karen said that you need to redecorate your lounge I know to match that lovely quilt oh, don't mm. joke Karen yeah oh, no. yeah so the rest of the year it's, you know, <laughs> it matches all my quilts and things then Auntie Lizzie has said soz babes, <laughs> soz babes. <laughs> yeah soz babes for the back is, on the camera that is what Izzy was probably gonna say <laughs> he was I know oh, oh Natasha said she used yeah. three for gifting there you go she has exactly so we've bundled all of these together though because they are from the same collection, so why not? Those are available, I believe. They might not be, they might have sold. Well, let's look. We can't look at, look at everything, SJ. Couches, a nice we can't little look. like flower girl. Mm -hmm. Do you know there's light at the end of the tunnel? Just as well, because it's 12 minutes past 11, crikey bobs. Oh wow. Um, <laughs> no, time flies when you're having fun. Just seeing what else we've got left. Now this. This was something that disappeared at a rate of knots. So if you didn't get it, there's one here. Now this is the Klimt Robert Kaufman panel. It's the Kiss. The Kiss is a really iconic and famous bit of imagery. Look at this, beautiful piece of art. Sorry. It's all right, SJ, I'll just do this all my yeah, own. Yeah, I'm fine. going to help you, I'm going <laughs> so to help Gustav you. So Gustav Klimt's The Kiss. Up a bit, up a bit, up a bit, there you go. Thank you. So that's the panel there, and then outside here we've got Silverstone, which is just gorgeous metallic. It's um, already sold out. Has it gone? I'm not surprised. It's back to an H640, so it hasn't got backing on it. I'm very clear about that. Just needs backing, quilting this through and binding. This fabric is gorgeous, though. Yeah. Backing, quilting through and binding. That needed to find a home because it's just brilliant. Well done, you, whoever got it. <laughs> Look. I know. All my wares are starting to, you know, whew, I feel like you can see me now. There was all stuff here before, wasn't there? Okay, we have got, where do I go next? I should mention Beryl, actually, because Beryl's over that side with you. Now, Beryl is wearing our latest Infinity Scarf, so you'll see I've got my Infinity Scarf on. We had a Ruby Star bundle this week that we put together. Um, that was the mustard tone and the natural and the black. That sold out, that Infinity Scarf bundle. And they generally do, because I think you guys know how quick it is to put one of these together and you've got a gift like that. So she's modeling our latest colorway. She is very she pretty. Is. Looks very nice on her. So we've got, shall I quickly just take it yeah, off so you can yeah, see all can. of the colors in that? Yeah, of course you can. Good luck at putting that back as it was. I'm sorry, I'm joking. <laughs> The just, show's nearly you over. You just twist and ruche it and throw it on. That's what's so beautiful about this. Just, you know, fold over and hope for the best. They're lovely, aren't they? They are pre very pretty colours. We were saying, whenever we talk about Starry, this is your favourite fabric collection, isn't it? I do really like this fabric yeah. collection. I really love anything with stars on it, though, to yes, be fair. So. Okay. 
like it is quite, you know. And I love the the colours in that. Yeah, very, definitely. very pretty. You can't go far wrong with a star. No. Especially when you're making something for someone a bit younger. Than myself and Tash, as you are, young and fabulous. No, I'm not that young. <laughs> yeah, you are. <laughs> She's also modelling Susie's Throw and Go Bag. Yeah, Susie Duncan's Throw and Go Bag. So that was one that was produced as a My sample. My in the way. Let me just oh. put that down. Is it hiding? There we go. It's hiding a little bit. So you've got a cam snap on the front. You've got, I mean, you've got really good hardware on there as well. So you've yeah. got a webbing handle with some hardware. There's a pocket here. So you've got the main section. You've got a pocket here. There's some decorative stitch around there as well. Like I say, everything we're selling today is a sample. It has been made at speed on a show or for a show. So you may find there's a turning through gap or a bit of stitching that needs correcting or whatever, but... I think that's, that's the joy of it being handmade, mm -hmm. though, isn't it? And at speed. And yeah. at speed. Um, yeah. I think even when you go into some craft shops and you've got handmade yeah. ornaments. There's quite often a little imperfection there is, here and there. Mm -hmm. But I think that is the, you know, the joy yeah. of having something that is handmade and maybe a one-off or so. Absolutely. Um, we also have... A little velvet pouch. This was called the Decadent Velvet Pouch. It was, and I believe this is um, also already gone. It, yeah, do you know, it was from a million years ago. It is, yeah. One of the first things. It was that very Tasha early made. days. Um, and it had beautiful peacock I think it was pre you, wasn't it? Pre you. Yeah, Gemma. I think it was when I was still at home watching the show, making an occasional sample and doing some cutting in my house. <laughs> or I'd just yeah. come in and, you know, bring lunch and tidy oh, up the cupboards yeah. before, before. I remember that when. Vid. It, when Natasha told me that Gemma was going to come on board, and I was like, yeah, that's fine, because she bought me lunch about twice. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, anybody who yeah, feeds me. Before the pandemic hit, I on. just used to rock up and bring lunch and tidy some cupboards and yeah, make some and help me pack. Made you a little um, stand out of Harry Potter yes, fabric. Harry, yes, yeah, which I still use. It's yeah. on my bedside table. Yeah, and that was in the really early days yeah, of Yeah, it makes. was, yeah. And then, yeah, then the, then the pandemic hit, and I just used to make samples and... Do a bit of cutting here and there just to keep me sane. Really. Yes. Um, and then here I was as furniture, actual furniture. And now, now. you can never leave. No, I, I, that's I'm I'm like a chair or a table. I don't go home or anything. That's <laughs> how <laughs> so it is. That's so how it is. They've got me. You see, they've got me. Three last things now. I'm pretty sure that's where we're at. Crikey. Okay. So we have. We'll go with this one first. This is the lovely Tilda toiletries bag. It was a Tilda pattern. Um, this is called Stormy in Teal, I think. And this is Ayala Blender in pink on the little tabs. It, it's a lovely little bag. Um, got fabulous zip with a really nice silver rectangular zip pull. And then inside, she has lined it with that there Ayala Blender in pink. This That's is already gorge. sold out. Of course it one. has. Yeah. I'm not surprised. What I am surprised about is that she's let this one go when she's got the larger wash bag down here that she's not letting go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, final quilt time. This is, look at this, the Thameside quilt. You can see the yeah. Thameside quilt the ba is backed in William Morris. This, the quilting on this is exquisite. Jane has signed this one as well. I am surprised this one is... Oh, is it still available at the moment? Well, it's I'm surprised it, it went up. Oh, yeah, in the yeah. first place, but so, it is still available. If you have a look here, this one is signed. And this is generally what you'll find on some of Jane's makes. They're not all, but some she's written on. Because really, if you're making a quilt, I do think you should commemorate it with the detail of when it was made and by whom. I think it's quite nice to do. Um, but this was a bit special. This one's a big one as well, isn't it? Uh, yeah, it's a good size, this one. Yeah. Okay, you ready? If we got it the right way. We'll tell from, yeah, from the middle block. Okay, ready? so this is Jane's <laughs> pen side quilt. Using beautiful William Morris. This was her design, so again, we've got the pattern available in printed or digital format for you. Absolutely lovely. But the quilting on this was really special, so they all come to this centre point really tight and then they just come out into this huge sunburst just amazing no, it is an absolute beauty and, it, and it keeps going yeah, we, <laughs> we can't, are just both quite we small. can't show you the end we're just going to have to lift it up and natasha is uh, is not here <laughs> to be <laughs> tall and fabulous and lift it for us um you have got these 
beautiful blocks of strawberry thief in that great big print so that is that iconic william morris but the brilliant daffodils and here as well with the daffodils it's just it's beautiful and if this one doesn't go it will end up in my house i'm afraid that does match my lounge i know so mm. it might not be here for much <laughs> longer <laughs> yeah you know whose lounge it would work in though yes i do vicky and that's the problem i can't have them all as with the beautiful one on the wall. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh. That one would look fantastic in Vicky's lounge. That one. Mm. I know. I know. So yes, those are the last of the quilts. Vicky's asked, what would you recommend to use to write on the back of quilts? So if you're writing on the back of a quilt, we have got permanent pens. Uh, Soline do a permanent marker pen and that's generally what Jane will write on the back with. We have those in black and brown, reason being is we use them when we're making toys. So if you've got the tilde toys and you like to make those, you can draw little facial features on and they just, they don't wash off, which is great. However, I do like to make a proper label. Um, and of course, when Jane's making a sample for work, we can't expect her to sit and spend ages <laughs> making a beautiful decorative label. But we do have stamping kits that you can purchase. You can stamp those and then you can either leave them stamped because it's a permanent ink or you could then sit and hand stitch over that guideline to have a beautiful label that you make for the back. So there are options, always options, but if you just want to write on the back, one of those pens is perfect because it's a nice, nice point on it as well. So it's not like it's going to bleed and you try and write on fabric quite often with a permanent ink and it will just bleed in the fibres and you'll end up with a big smudgy mess which is nothing short of a disaster when you've spent ages piecing and quilting. Um, the last thing to mention is this a little friend here. I think this one's already gone as well. Gone. Of course it's going to have gone. I said to Natasha she needed to put this up for more money and she refused. Um, I wanted this one, so I was going to put it up for silly money so that I could have it myself. Is it gone, gone? So this is our uh, velvet evening bag. with the Lisa Chandler. So it's the velvet clutch. It should come up. Yeah, of course it's gone. Whoever got this one, well done you. Um, I just think, actually, this pattern is so simple. I, Natasha will not mind me saying that at all. It is the simplest pattern. It produces the most gorgeous bag. The velvet, the cotton velvets, are really, really good value, and we do them in lots of different colours. If you were to buy some cotton velvet and then raid your stash. If you imagine a little bit of cafe on the inside there, Ooh. really, Do you really know what I really make. like as well is that you can see you can. the inside just yeah. down the, you and can. it just down adds the that little it does. extra glam. It's the easiest make. And yet, I mean, a velvet clutch, I said even if you bought a really cheapy velvet clutch in a cheapy shop, they're not cheap. No. They're really not, you know, you're still looking at 20 odd quid quite often to go and buy a little I actually wore pens. my mum's um, not that long ago. She's oh, got one in her stash. Nice. Proper old school looking yeah. one, but it went really well with the outfit that I was wearing. And I was like, please, can I? Yeah. And um, But they are great, yeah. you know, if you're going out in heels and a pair of jeans or, a, you know, whatever, a nice pair of trousers, it just dresses up the outfit immediately, doesn't it? But I think they're timeless as well. You could make this for a younger person or an older person. Yeah, definitely. Love it similarly. So this would be my pattern recommendation of the day. If you don't have this pattern, grab it quick. I'm pretty sure I put up a bundle for you as well. It's there looking at me, yeah. which is the instructions with the magnetic clasp pack as well. So if you get that, get yourself some velvet, just cotton velvet by the half meter. Um, Rage stash. These are the perfect Christmas gift. I think I've said it all and done it all, SJ. Think I think we have. I don't think there's nope. much else. I think we're good. I think the things to note are that tonight the Half Meter Heavens go live at midnight. Yes. We then tomorrow, no, that's Half Meter Heavens, Friday. <laughs> oh, Friday there will be a newsletter going out, but it's yes. Black Friday. It is also our Pay It Forward show, so please, please, please do not miss that. Make sure you tune in at 10 a.m. on Friday. There will be deals over the weekend, of course there will, it's Black Friday week. And on Monday, Natasha will be back with you live for Cyber Monday. Yes. There may or may not be a few more goodies. 
We can't give it all away. I do know these things. However, <laughs> I think now, SJ, at 11.24, it might be time to go to the CAF. Unless you can see that there are any last minute questions, queries, or anything. Let me have a on that there quick Facebook or YouTube. look. There is not. There Good is not. stuff. Well, thank you for joining us. Um, get well, Sue Jane. We love you very, very much. And um, yes, we will see you guys very, very soon. Thank you very much. Bye. Bye.